hey guys welcome back to another video of building with v for quick building tips now today we're going to focus on round roofs now if you like building round structures but your roof end up like this then you are in the right place i will show you how i make my roof aesthetically pleasing so let's begin okay so right now we have like two structures over on our left it is our octagonal shape and over on the right this is our round structure perfectly round structure now we're going to compare the two and you're going to see why i use octagonal shape structures in my builds and uh, why you should use it too so first right off the bat let me just highlight one issue with round structures well perfectly round ones now there's no problem with using round structures in certain builds but if you're like putting a roof on top of it yeah you're gonna find yourself problems let me just use this wood beam and show you so right now if i place this right here if you look closely to where it's pointing it's not pointing to the center and if i turn it the other side let me get that boy snap in come on there you go yeah so this is not pointing to the side to the, the center either now if we look in between these two there is where the center would be the other thing is that to make your roof aesthetically pleasing especially when trying to do like a round structural bill i recommend not using this perfectly round structure now over here although it's not a perfectly round structure but close close all right but what happened is when you use this structure here and let me just find that this this point right here if you look you can see that this is pointing directly to the center of the bill and if you want to see a lot clearer we can do that and we can do this on this other side and we will see that they will connect so there you go see it connects nicely now we can do it on this side as well and this one and they will all meet to that central point the thing is that you know with round structures you want to get that peak that perfectly nice aesthetically good looking peak and that is what we're aiming for so we get our overlap here we can just continue with this all around and we everything would be all lined up okay so the other thing i wanted to talk about is uh, as you can see that we don't have like a overhang or roof heaves now for like a row structure like this i have so much issues trying to make one right let me just try to get this all right this is so much let me just put that so i have to do something like this and i don't know if anyone else have like a different type of style that they would do this but either way what's going to happen is that i will have little gaps all right let me find the straw roof right so if i'm going to create a heave for this roof the issue is that i have this little gap here now i don't have like a, a middle rotation where it's balanced between these two it's either it's turned to this direction or it's turned to direction so you're going to have this while with this one i won't have this kind of issue so i'm just going to create a heave a little thing here okay great so we should have something looking like this now we can just get we can maybe use like a 26 degree for like the the, the starting section there or we can just go straight ahead into the 45 degree whichever works but look at that now so far it looks pretty good compared to what we have over here i couldn't use this idea on this structure because we can't we don't have enough rotations to get that middle sweet spot to get this nice point that is being formed right now so let me just finish this up okay so you should have something like this now as you can see so far it looks really nice it looks clean it doesn't look like any it looks like everything is in place and it brings out the beauty of the bill already and it's not even finished now we can just get our roof piece now this is where things get a bit technical or a bit frustrating now right here with this although you're not seeing any edges pushing out and all it's fine but it looks flat right there's nothing 
more that we can do to this to make it look well compared to this that we have over here which doesn't have a roof yet so right now with this with here you, you see that it's going to overlap on the other side now you don't have to worry about that now the important thing is that because we have these little beams here it creates a well basically hide the flaw in that respect uh, let me use straw instead okay so we do something like this right and we just go over to the other side and then we just finish it right in the middle all right so we do this again now we're gonna overlap and then we just do it right here and then in the middle now from a distance you won't really see that flaw because right now you have the the 26 degree beam you know right in the center you know kind of, kind of hiding that look or that little flaw there now we just have it or a 45 degree put it right there and then we just do the same thing right here you get something like this now the problem now we're gonna run into is to the tip what we're gonna do is that we're gonna get this little one meter would be and usually I put this first before I put these roof pieces so let me just take this out and we'll do something like this let me see if I can get it so I wanted to rotate and meet it bit into the center there so we're creating something like this so it should look like this and we just do it on the other side so we should get something looking like this and what we're going to use is that we're going to use so we're using 45 degree roof corners touch roof corners and we basically aim right into the center here and it would, should look like something like this let me just do the same thing here let me just get out of the way there and start looking like this and what what's happening is that you're starting to create a nice little star pattern so i'm going to repeat this i'm going to speed it up and repeat this and until we have the top all done here okay so we have our little wood pieces added here all around as you can see and we're going to use the 45 degree attached roof corner piece to be exact and we just basically going to there's a snapping point right here in the center of it as you can see where it kind of shifts yeah you just kind of snap it right in there and we're just doing this all around now this is why it's so important to have that central point now everything just points to one direction everything is just symmetrical and nothing is out of place and your roof does end up looking clean when done so let me one more and we are good great so the top is finished and basically we can just continue what we started right here in the middle and the bottom part so let me just speed this up here and get that done okay so we are basically done with the roof there's nothing else that we could do maybe a few little Maybe something like this. I don't know. You know, if you wanted to add some little design or, or whatever. Let me see how that would look. Yeah, not too, too much, too much. Okay, so I went ahead and swapped all the detached, well, straw looking detached roof with the tile ones. And this is how it looks so far. Now, for the tip, as you can see, I use the 45 degree beam reason being is that you will have something looking like this poking out right at the edge here so I it wasn't so pleasing to look at if you look look at it from afar it looks like it's out of place versus something a lot more cleaner on this side here that is it hope you guys learned something and leave a like if you do shout out to my patrons for keeping the channel going as we say in Jamaica enough love to you all and see you guys in the next build